I've always enjoyed transition seasons. There is so much beauty and appreciation in noticing that resilient strength, hidden in embracing the coming changes instead of fighting against them. They are a time for reflection and preparation, a time to bring order in our physical spaces as soon as we'll be turning inwards and slowing down. Unfortunately, consumerism, marketing, and algorithm have been taking away much of our inner capability to live in tune with nature, to read the signs in our surroundings, and to enjoy the timing and the process it takes for good, bountiful things to come. And because of a toxic productivity movement, we don't find joy in the waiting. In fact, we are translating joy only in achieving, purchasing, or chasing the next thing. This was a time of investing in one's own labor, a time to invest in a different type of wealth, the knowledge that comes from following the cycle of seasons. August is the month I start preparing for the upcoming shortening of daylight because I will be investing in restful activities instead. This is why as a homemaker, I need to use this last sprint of longer days to create a cozy and inviting home. And as a minimalist, these are the ways I prepare. Add coziness to your home without falling into the trap of consumerism. The easiest way is by inviting into your spaces consumable goods that will be truly needed. Things like candles, for example, to limit the exposure to LED or blue lights in the evenings. Or to just have handy for those rainy stormy days ahead. I like also to stock up on puzzles, a few classic books and classic movies for my little ones, and just some plain paper and colors. Since we will be spending a big chunk of our days indoor, I want to keep my spaces well clean, limiting the dust collecting. I want them to be breathable and airy, and we room to engage in indoor activities, creating, baking, and reading. This is a time where I like to deep clean in my rugs, throws and pillows, and air filters. Try and eliminate as much as possible of those items that they are stationary, therefore hard to clean periodically. Continue longer exposure to nature and outdoors to ensure a good intake of vitamin D. The air will soon turn crispy, making it the perfect weather to invest in long walks, hikes and meals shared outside. Also, as the days will be shortening, spending time outside will help our body adjust into a natural circadian rhythm. Since there'll be less of moving our bodies during the colder months, less daily sweating and natural detoxing, eating well, eliminating sugar, and consuming what's in season becomes crucial for our well-being both physical and mental. This is a good time to restock our pantries with good, healthy, one-ingredient items that will allow us to create wonderful goodies from scratch a time to deep clean in our cabinets and refrigerators, and to create a roda of few earthy and healthy meals we can prepare in fall. 
Don't forget to make the crock pot your best friend so that you can enjoy this time of beauty while your nutritious meals are cooking. Consuming spices and herbs like cinnamon, ginger, cloves and anise adds to what our immune system needs exactly for this time of the year. Introduce richer skincare. Again, since there'll be less natural detoxing happening in fall and winter and long exposure to heating sources, our skin needs proper nourishment. Regular exfoliating with dry brushing, fruit acids, and one ingredient moisturizer like shea butter are my go to favorites. Fall to me is a very elegant season. The colors are richer, darker, and I like to mirror that by adding some details when getting ready. Also by investing in a couple of flattering yet cozy homebody outfits. This month I like to aerate my cardigans and gently prepare warmer layers of clothes. Autumn is the perfect time to share and learn a new old-fashioned skill. Like last year, I perfected my pumpkin spice body whip butter. And I'm so excited and I'm planning on sharing more DIYs during this cozy fall season. So make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to catch you in just a few days with 10 ways I highly simplified my life. And it's something that I believe is truly needed, especially at this time of the year, as we're trying to get in the swing or routines and maybe trying to implement changes as well. Mm -hmm.